Welcome back. Hopefully everyone uh, had the opportunity to enjoy the nice weather out there today. Less humid as well. Unfortunately, we have some changes on the way beginning tomorrow. Our next frontal boundary is going to be pushing through late tomorrow. With that, some scattered showers and storms, a few of which could be on the strong to perhaps severe side. However, the risk is going to be a little bit greater for areas just off to our north. Thereafter, a little bit of a winter chill heading in to Thanksgiving and maybe a few more showers, unfortunately. So uh, let's get a check of that satellite radar composite. And uh, as mentioned, plenty of sunshine out there today. Nice and comfortable temperatures got into the mid 70s this afternoon with that lower humidity. But uh, you can see the clouds back into Texas. Some of those are going to be spilling into the area tonight. And we do have a frontal boundary here off to our north and west producing some showers. And we'll see a broken line of showers and storms arriving uh, or so late tomorrow afternoon and then heading into tomorrow evening. So here's the severe storm risk and all of Acadiana is under under a level two slight risk for a few severe storms capable of producing wind, hail, maybe a couple isolated tornadoes. However, the parameters and the risk a little bit greater as you get across Sinla, the northern part of the state, and then into Mississippi. But still, we'll be watching the radar closely for you uh, throughout the day tomorrow. So let's play it out with the graph model. Not nearly as chilly tonight as where we were last night. In fact, our overnight lows are pretty much occurring right now in the 50s. Readings will be rising into the lower 60s by tomorrow morning with the increase in cloud cover. Suddenly winds bringing in that Gulf moisture and it's going to be a partly to mostly cloudy day tomorrow. Breezy as well with those suddenly winds 10 to 15 gust at times uh, in excess of 20 to 25 miles per hour. Few light streamer showers throughout the day, but rain chances peaking by the latter parts of the afternoon afternoon and then heading into the evening hours. Now it's kind of a broken line of showers and storms, so we're not going to be looking at widespread activity. Certainly not going to be a washout or anything like that. Uh, and don't plan on a whole lot of rainfall as activity will be moving along pretty quickly. But again, a few of those storms as they push through could be on the stronger side, but they push through quickly. Bulk of the activity is out of here uh, by early Tuesday morning, and we will be turning drier, cooler for Tuesday, noticeably cooler with temperatures uh, pretty much hovering in the 50s and 60s all day long under mostly cloudy skies and uh, as we head into Wednesday much of the same but then another quick hitting system looks to get here or try to push through on Thursday which will give us a few more showers for Thanksgiving so just something to keep in mind there as far as rainfall amounts again with this weather system don't plan on a whole lot most of us probably picking up less than a quarter of an inch even a half an inch uh, but of course if you get underneath a heavier thunderstorm you could pick up a little bit more uh, than that at least in isolated spots but most of us not picking up a whole lot as far as your tip Temperatures again eventually uh, will be uh, rising a little bit into the lower 60s by tomorrow morning. Warm tomorrow afternoon, upper 70s to lower 80s under partly to mostly cloudy skies with a few of those scattered showers and storms arriving there. And then here we go, uh, definitely turning cooler into Tuesday, upper 50s to lower 60s. And notice how temperatures don't really change a whole lot throughout the day on Tuesday as mostly cloudy skies stick around. So 24 hour forecast looks like this. Currently we have readings in the 50s. Those will be our low temperatures for the night rising into the lower 60s by daybreak tomorrow morning, partly to mostly cloudy throughout the day. It's going to be breezy out there. A couple light streamer showers, best rain chances arriving for the latter parts of the afternoon and into the evening. Definitely turning cooler as we advance it into the 10 day forecast Tuesday, Wednesday into Thanksgiving Day itself on Thursday. But again, we're going to have that another quick uh, hitting weather system, upper level disturbance pushing through. So a few showers possible there. Be prepared for that. Otherwise, chill for our overnights and early mornings with those low temperatures dropping into the 40s. Well, that is going to do it for weather for now, but stay with us. We're going to have more coming up after the break.